Another saying is that Noah was an awful brave man to travel in a wooden boat with two termites. An old favorite youth and camp song goes, God told Noah to build an archie archie, build it out of gopher barky, children of the Lord. The sun came out and dried up the landy landy, children of the Lord. I should have had Kevin sing that for me. <laughs> and who can forget recently the movie Heaven Almighty? I mean, that played a big part in getting this story out. Remember the scene where Evan looks and says, can't we get just a little precipitation? We like the story of Noah and the Ark, don't we? I would suspect that many of you can recall the story, or can you? Just a little litmus test for a moment. How many animals did God instruct Noah to bring on the ark? Hey, we normally say two of each, don't we? There's actually two different. In, Noah, in Genesis chapter 6, God says, bring all my pair. But in 7, he says, bring seven pair of clean and two of the unclean. One of the reasons why we, sit, you know, why we tend to like the story of Noah the ark is because well, he has a happy ending. But the story itself is anything but a happy story. And I think it's important that we remember how we get to this happy ending. And listen, this is not a story for the faint heart. In your Bibles, in Genesis chapter 6, verse 5, like to turn to that. Reading, the Lord saw how great man's wickedness had become, and that every inclination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil all the time. The Lord was grieved that he had made man on earth, and his heart was filled with pain. So the Lord said, I will wipe mankind whom I have created from the face of the earth, men and animals and creatures that move along the ground and the birds of the air for I have breathed that I have made them that had the breath of life and its nostrils died. Every living thing on the face of the earth was wiped out. Men and animals and the creatures that move along the ground and the birds of the air were wiped from the face of the earth. I want to give you a moment to contemplate that. Did you hear what that said? Wiped out all of creation. Every living thing died. The message version puts it sort of like this. Everything died. Anything that moved. Birds, farm animals, wild animals, the entire TV exuberance of life, dead. And all people, dead. Every living, breathing creature that lived on dry land died. He wiped out the whole works. People and animals, crawling creatures and flying birds, every last one of them, God. Let me ask you, is this some children's fairy tale? This is a story about death and destruction. <coughs> Everything that we know in life was wiped completely from the face of the earth. It was completely and totally annihilated. 